Hi, in this video we will learn about the Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness and this is the second relative measure of skewness in our list. In the previous video we have talked about this beta and gamma coefficient of skewness and the reason we are learning this relative measures of skewness is that in the absolute measures of skewness we have this problem that in a distribution if we have a small variation or a large variation then the same amount of skewness will have different meaning and for this reason these absolute measures are not good enough to give you a clear idea about the skewness of a distribution. So we go with Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness. It goes like this that s of x k that means a coefficient of skewness will be mean minus mode by standard deviation. That means you divide this difference mean minus mode by standard deviation where this mean minus mode is actually an absolute measure of skewness. And this absolute measure is having the problem of having different meanings of the same amount of skewness, right? So, mean is your x bar minus m o that is your mode and you divide this difference by the sigma. So, for a symmetrical distribution, this measure will give you 0 as per our criteria. What was our criteria? For a symmetrical distribution, your measure will give you 0 if it is a good measure. And for a positively skewed distribution, your measure should give you a positive magnitude. And in case of negatively skewed distribution, your measure of skewness will give you a negative magnitude, right? Here, for a symmetrical distribution, this measure is working fine. Now, if your mean is greater than mode, that means positively skewed, that means it will be looking something like this, then this will work. So, this s of xk will give you a positive magnitude. And if your mean is less than mode, that is negatively skewed, the figure will go like this then your s of x k will give you a negative sign. For a moderately skewed distribution, your s of x k will lie between minus 1 and plus 1. Okay? Now the problem is, sometimes the mode is not well defined. And if it is not well defined, then it will be very difficult for you to estimate it. And this formula is depending upon mode, right? Then what to do? You remember the empirical relation we had before for determining mode. What was that? Mean minus mode equal to 3 times mean minus median. Right? We learned that before. And this will give you the mode equal to 3 times median minus 2 times mean. So, you bring down this formula here. This s of xk is x bar minus m o that means uh, your mode divided by the standard deviation. And you put this formula this 3 times x bar minus median on the numerator in place of this x bar minus mode. And the denominator sigma is there as, as it is. Now, your measure is dependent upon median, not mode. Right? And median is very easy to find out. In this way, you can modify this formula that is dependent upon mode to a formula that is dependent upon median. Correct? Here, your measure lies between minus 3 and plus 3. I hope it's clear to you how to deal with measures of skewness using Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness. In the next video, we will discuss about Bowley's coefficient of skewness.